Hey everyone, Michael Ferrara here, and today I want to talk about ID Shield's new feature, which is called ID Shield Vault. So, if you're a lot like me and you tend to use Google Chrome or Internet Explorer to save all your username and passwords, it's probably not the greatest idea. Um, it's probably not the most secure, and it's probably the easiest for hackers or anyone trying to get into your personal information to obtain that information. Um, as well as I tend to use a similar password for each one of my sites just so I can remember them because otherwise I'd forget them. Well, ID, ID Shield Vault will answer, will help me be more secure when, when going around the internet with my username and passwords. And how they do that is they're going to use military grade encryption to save and store your username and passwords to make it a lot less likely for someone to be able to steal and get your username and passwords and get access to sites that you probably don't want them to get access to. So we just went ahead and logged in here to myidshield.com. As you can see, uh, the very first thing that's going to pop up when you first log in, if you haven't logged in in a while, is that we have updated from TransUnion over to Experian. What that simply means is with TransUnion, our credit score monitoring used to be updated quarterly. When we moved over to Experian, your credit score monitoring will now be updated monthly, which is pretty cool. So go ahead and X out of that. Here we are on the main page of ID Shield. You can see we have our our navigation bar here. We're going to want to go ahead and click on ID Shield Vault. Now I've already installed ID Shield on my um, Chrome browser. Um, there, when you first log in, you're going to come to this page, and you're going to have some frequently asked questions. One of the main ones I want you to uh, focus in on is ID Shield Vault Browser available for Internet Explorer. Unfortunately, the answer is no. It's only going to work with Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. Any word on Internet Explorer, I'm not sure. Um, just might be a very insecure browser, so I'm not sure um, if that's going to be added in the near future or not. Um, so from here, this page to enter ID Shield Vault, you're going to want to click on here. This is going to take you into ID Shield Vault. Now, for the first time when you are signing up, you're going to go ahead and go ahead and put in your first name, last name, email address, and then create a password, and the rest will drop down for you. Since I already have an account, I am going to go ahead and log in here. Once we get logged in. All right. So here we're logged into the ID Shield Vault. This is where it's going to store all your username and passwords. Um, and you can add and delete stuff from here. So when you go to those sites, it'll be in here for you. But um, for the sake of showing how easy it is to use ID Shield Vault, I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So I'm in Chrome, and you can see this little ID Shield Vault icon up here. When you add this extension, uh, which when you sign up, it's going to walk you through on how to add this extension. This is going to populate on your Chrome browser. If I go ahead and click on this, I can see that I'm logged in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and log into my LinkedIn account. So let me get this over here for you. And then once you get logged into that site for the first time, you get this this little drop down from ID Shield, and then you're going to go ahead and assign the name to that website in here. So I'm going to call this LinkedIn. And then I'm going to pick a category. This is a social site. So I'll go ahead and save that. So now my username and password is saved for this site. So if I log out of here and I actually, it's actually going to generate the password for me. I'm going to say OK and then it's going to log me in. So there we go. So that's the, the beauty of how ID Shield Vault works. And again, everything that you do, it's going to put uh, the sites in here. So if I go back to my main page, and then let's see. Now you can see LinkedIn is added in here. Has my username, has the site, has the password. 
um, and then I can update it. So ID Shield Vault's very cool. Um, I recommend that you guys use that versus using um, your your Chrome to save everything or your Safari or your Firefox. This way you'll be a little bit more secure and less likely of a hacker being able to get your username and password and most importantly if they do get your username and password they're not going to be able to take that from every site that you have you know like your banking account or your Amazon account or, or any type of financial that you don't want them to get into this will help you be a little bit more secure so hopefully getting the best out of your ID Shield membership again this is available to you now if you have ID Shield individual or ID Shield family so go ahead and log in you will see that available to you now. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and reach out to ID Shield or give me a call and I'll be happy to help however I can. But I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you and I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you. Bye-bye.